Initializing Verseworks can be a great way to clear out corrupted files and clear out any crashing issues without having to reinstall the software. We're going to start by writing down the printer's IP address. This can be found under Printer Settings in the Printer menu. After initializing, you'll have to enter this once the program restarts. Once you have it written down, close Verseworks. Keep in mind you will lose everything in your queue, so please back up any files you might need. Next, go to the Start menu, click on Initialize Application under the Roland Versaworks Program folder. Click Yes to confirm that you want to initialize the software. Once that's completed, open up Roland Versaworks. The program will ask you for the IP address we wrote down earlier. Type it in, then click Verify. Once the printer has been confirmed, click Apply, then click OK to save your setup. Once Verseworks is opened, click on Edit, then Preferences. If you prefer to work in inches instead of millimeters, you can change this here under the units. Next, click on the Roland at Net tab and click to receive automatic Verseworks updates from Roland. Once a week is a good setting. At the bottom of this window, tell the software that you only want to receive updates for your model and ink type. Otherwise, you'll be downloading unnecessary files. Next, open the QA settings under the Edit menu. Under the File Format tab, Set your EPS margin to 0.03. This will leave a bit of space around your imported EPS jobs so that cut lines aren't missing. Select the next two conversion options as well so Verseworks will recognize spot and special colors imported into the RIP software. After you're done with QA, be sure to apply the same settings to QB if you use it as well.